Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Sorry I haven't made a video in a few days. Kind of had a little bit of a hectic work schedule, but more importantly, after Monday night's Daytona 500, I wasn't sure what Ryan Newman's condition was, and I didn't want to make a video if the outcome would have been much worse than what it actually ended up being. So with that being said, this is video number 50. I was surprised that I was uh, looking the other day at my uh, video list and was kind of doing a count on them. And I knew I was getting close, but my last video obviously was number 49, so I decided to do a little bit something different on this one. So what I've done, well, what I decided to do was I wanted to do something associated with the number 50, so I decided to come, come up with 50 of my favorite cards that I have, NASCAR cards, that are certified autographs or certified race used. So I figured that would be a fun little video, share a little part of my collection with you guys. And... You know, maybe be able to tell a story of either if it was an eBay purchase or something that was a pack pull or something like that. So, before I get started on that, I do have uh, upcoming on a couple videos. I, do, I did recently purchase another box of the 2019 Prism. I'm really enjoying this set, the 2019 Prism, a blaster box. And then at my local card shop, I did get some packs, four Hobby NXT packs. Look forward to busting those. And then a couple of these at the Target. Uh, these 2020 Tops Baseball, and they have a green uh, parallel there on the front, so look forward to opening those, as I've not opened any, any 2020 products yet. So let's go ahead and get started, and these aren't in any particular order, I just kind of pulled them out of my box of, of relics and autos that I keep. So we'll start here with Buddy Baker, this one was an eBay purchase I believe. There you see it's numbered 429 of 568. Buddy, of course, was is a NASCAR Hall of Famer. We have one Pablo Montoya, wheels certified. I pulled this one out of a pack, so that was that was an exciting pull for me. Alex Bowman. This was out of one of my boxes that I bought last year of the Prism. Or actually, that's 2018 certified. I'm sorry. And there you see it is numbered upside down. Uh number six out of 49 and it does have the authentication sticker there with it we have a Ned Jarrett this was an eBay purchase got a really good deal on it number 44 out of 50 this was part of a redemption program a Jeff Gordon 90, 95 97 somewhere in there SPX so we do have that one we have a David Pearson I believe this may have been a pack pull. Press pass, I'm not always familiar on the years. This says 2005, so I wasn't collecting then. So this was probably, I probably got this one. I think I recently got this one in an eBay lot then. Bobby Allison, I know this one was a pack pull, 2004 press pass. Got another Mark Martin. You see the sticker on it that one time I was wanting to sell this card, but... I did not sell it, but it is a Mark Martin SPX. I believe this was also part of a redemption. I did buy this card in a lot on eBay. And, of course, if you know Randy Dorton passed away with several members of the Hendrick Motorsports team in a helicopter crash a number of years ago. And we do have an Eric Jones Prism. Not sure what version of Parallel this is, but I do know that it is numbered. Uh, there, Sorry about the glare. 18, 18 out of 50. So nice, nice Eric Jones card. James Hilton. I bought this one on eBay. And I just bought it because I seen it. It was unique. Not a lot of James Hilton signed stuff out there. I did get to meet James one year at Indianapolis Raceway Park. Very nice guy. Of course, he tragically passed away last year. I pulled this one out of a box that I purchased on eBay. And as you see, it is a clear version of the Tony Stewart autograph card. And it is also numbered 22 out of 100. Got a Scott Pruitt. This is an eBay purchase because I never have bought any boxes or packs of 2000 maximum. Although I'm intrigued by this set. There's lots of high-end stuff in that set. But I thought the Scott Pruitt card's really cool because he only was in NASCAR for one full season. After that, he just made a handful of starts. Jennifer Jo Cobb. I bought a couple cards of hers on eBay a couple of years ago. Got a good good price on those. Benny Parsons. Bought this one last year on eBay. 
thought it was a nice card. 1997 Action Packed. I think it was the last year that Action Packed was out. Dale Jarrett, this is also an eBay purchase. Scoreboard came out with a set called Autographed Racing. And Scoreboard had some other sets. I know that they had SB and a couple other lines. Their autograph set was really fun. There was, uh, I believe, the boxes, the hobby boxes, had three guaranteed autographs in them. Shirley Muldowney, I pulled this out of a uh, press pass box a few years ago. Had to be the Legends box. Shirley, of course, is an NHRA uh, drag racer from years gone by. So I thought this was an interesting card, and it is numbered 18 out of 25. So I was excited to get that one. William Byron pulled this out of a pack of Prism a couple years ago. I do not think it is numbered. It's just the standard autograph. This Kenny Irwin, Sign of the Times autograph, SP Authentic. Got that on eBay, I believe, last year. Got a really, really good price on this one. Not a lot of Kenny Irwin certified autographs out there, so I wanted to add that to my collection. On Facebook a couple of years ago, a guy had uh, three certified Dale Earnhardt Jr. autographs. This was my favorite of the three. And he had them listed on there for $120 for all three. I offered, offered him $100, and he said, okay, sounds good, so... Got me three nice Dale Earnhardt Jr. autographs, but this is my favorite of the three. I bought this with my Panini points that I had last year. I had a couple uh, Panini points that I got out of some boxes and got this nice, I believe they call it Cracked Ice. So it was only 150, maybe 200 Panini points. It wasn't a whole lot, but very nice card, 15 out of 99. So I got another stack. Got a couple more stacks to go through till we get to number 50. Got this nice Davy Allison race used card on eBay. And looks like that's an A, the bottom of the A in his black uniform. This uniform was used in 1989, so this was probably from a 92 uniform. Of course, his father, Bobby Allison. This one, I don't think the Davy was numbered. If it is, I apologize. Yes, there it is. The Davy is numbered 60, 68 out of 199. The Bobby is numbered, how ironic, 68 out of 199. Well, I never noticed that before. But uh, Press Pass Legends, Bobby Allison race used uniform. Don't have a lot of Jamie McMurray stuff. I pulled this one out of a box of Select. And the only reason I really like this is just the color of that piece of sheet metal. Thought it was really uh, vibrant. The camera's really not picking it up there. You see a little bit of that metal fleck of the decals and so forth. So I'm guessing that probably came off of the McDonald's logo or maybe the number. This was the first Dale Earnhardt Jr. race use card that I'd ever pulled out of a pack. Just a race use shirt. And Wheels was coming up in the early 2000s with unique pieces of hats, shirts, shoes, etc. Just to increase their relics, I guess. Increase a little bit of movement in their product and so forth. But that was the first Dale Jr. authentic memorabilia that I'd ever pulled. Got this out of a box of Press Pass. Um, I want to say premium, but I'm not real 100% sure. I do have the gold version of this somewhere that has more color in the piece of the sheet metal there. This just has a white piece of sheet metal there. But there's a bronze, a silver, and a gold, and I do have the gold somewhere. I just was unable to find it. I pulled this out of a 1999 upper deck box. Magic numbers. May have been 97. I get these years confused. Uh, I wasn't buying a lot of product back then, but I did pull this one out of a pack. This is one of my redemptions from 2005. It was a cup chase. If you remember, Press Pass had their cup chase, and if you had the Champions Cup Chase card, you could mail that in. They would send you a set of the Cup Chase cards plus a relic card. So they had the, I believe this is a tire relic of Tony's car. They were supposed to do a uniform relic, but that got messed up somehow, and they ended up doing tire relics. I pulled this out of a box of 97 Upper Deck. I can't remember if it was Victory Circle or Road to the Cup. I believe this is the first memorabilia card that I would ever pulled, Dale Jarrett, and it's a seat cover. Brickyard's Best, Daryl Waltrip. I got this on eBay. And one of the main reasons I got this is I was at the first Brickyard 400. So a little bit of history for me kind of ties in with something that an event that I've been part of or I was attending. 
Here's another Tony Stewart uh, relic from a... I don't think this is a Cup Chase Redemption. It is not. It's... Okay, Press Pass had um, guaranteed hits in their uh, blaster boxes, and this was just one that I had pulled out of one of their blaster boxes. So it, I was thinking that it was one of the uh, Cup Chase Redemptions, but it's not. And Nice Dale Jr. got this on eBay last year, numbered... 30, yeah, 30 out of 99. Again, I apologize for that glare. Got a real nice Denny Hamlin National Treasures relic card. There you see some stitching, some orange and white of the FedEx. So that's a really nice card, numbered 2 out of 20. I believe this came in a lot on eBay, because I don't recall pulling that one. Another nice Dale Jr. Press Pass Showcase. And there you can see there, there's a difference there. There's This is a Panini card. This is a Press Pass card here on the right. And very similar in designs in, in their high-end product. Very, uh, a lot of little gold trim and so forth. So I, I really appreciate that. This one's numbered 20 of 50. Uh, Two-colored piece of sheet metal there of Dale Jr. Then I have another Dale Jr. Relic card. I believe that's probably sheet metal and tire or uniform and tire. I don't think is it. Yeah, it is numbered. 140 out of 199. I do have a set of this. I've completed this set. It took me a couple years, about 14 years ago, I finally completed this set, the skid mark set. And it's race used enhanced. So it's not actually race used off of Gordon's car, whoever I believe. But they they do have the the skid marks and there's a couple other sets that Press Pass came out with that have this this technology. Press Pass was really good at being innovative in the late '90s, early 2000s. But as far as the race used uh, enhanced series of cards, this car this set's my favorite out of all those. I just like the looks. It makes the car the car looks like it's obviously doing burnouts right there in front of you. Pulled this out of a box last year, Noah Gregson, certified autograph. Numbered, it's on the back there, sorry, 17 out of 24. I know we pulled this Hamlin in one of my videos last year, one of my favorite cards. I don't have any other certified Denny signing cards, so 20 out of 75. Got a Mark Martin Torque card, I believe that's from 2017 maybe, I'll have to look at that, 55 out of 99. 2018, I apologize, or 2016, I can't read it, the writing's too small, we'll flip it over so that way maybe I can see it a little bit better. 2016, it looks like. We have a Richard Petty, Allen and Ginter card, a memorabilia there, pulled that off of eBay. I think I may have only paid $5 for that, but still a nice card. We have a Jeff Burton, Hot Threads card, numbered 4 out of 10, you see there's a lot of stitching, a lot of different colors. I, I honestly think that the lower the number, the lower the print run they make on the cards, the more detailed swatches they give you, which which I can appreciate. I'd hate to have a 4 out of 10 card or a anything out of 10 and have it just be white or black. That kind of feel like you got ripped off. Tim Richmond, a lot of older fans may remember him back in the day. Race Use Fire Suit card from Press Pass Legends, number 32 out of 199. We have a nice... Quad relic here of Kevin Harvick, numbered 70, sorry about that, 72 out of 99 from Torque. One of my favorite Tony Stewart relic cards, prominent pieces, fire suit, shoe, and glove, numbered 16 out of 50. Really like this card. This was an eBay purchase. This is a really nice one. Again, another eBay purchase, numbered 20 out of 25. You see there the Alabama gang, Donnie, Bobby, and Neil Bonnet. Thought that was a really sharp card. Then I have this. I, this was an eBay purchase, twenty-five dollars, I believe. I paid for this one. Tony Stewart and Mark, Mario Andretti fire suit cards. Believe it. Don't think it's numbered. I might have missed that on the front. Let's look again. I don't see a number on that, but I seen this card. I had yeah, the other. Is the number hiding from us? Eighteen out of seventy-five. Okay. So that gold printing was just a little difficult to see there in that lower left-hand corner. My best friend picked this one up for me last year, and I really appreciate it. Terry Labonte, signature there, SPX card, or SP, I'm sorry. When he hit 514 consecutive starts, breaking Richard Petty's record of 513. 
so I thank him for that. Of course, you all know I'm working on a master set of 96 VIP, so this is the only relic that I have in that set so far, is the Dale Earnhardt. There's different levels of them, and I'm going to eventually get all of them, because that's the only way I'll be able to have a master set, but this is the relic that I've got out of that set so far. Got another eBay purchase here. Actually, the next two and the final two, this is number 49 and 50, is coming up. Purchased this on eBay a number of years ago for a really good price. So it's the 1992 Tracks Richard Petty Dale Earnhardt Dual Signature. And there's the back of the card. And my final one, I got a super good price on this one. It is a Dale Earnhardt 97 scoreboard. Numbered 76 out of 500. The significance to me of number 76 there is that's how many career Cup Series wins Dale Earnhardt ended up with. So I paid probably half as much for this card as I did this one. But I seen this one and I had to snag it right up. I can't remember if it came delivered in this big screw down holder or not, but I'm going to keep it in there for now. I'll give you a look at the back of the card. 96 scoreboard. I apologize. Again, a lot of these years I get confused because I really didn't go in depth with a lot of sets. And at that time there was very many sets that they had at the time. And of course those few autographs that I did have in the background there that I've had up the last few videos, the Herschel McGriff, the Tony Stewart, the Dan Weldon, I appreciate those just as much. Um as the ones that I just showed you, so there's 50 of my favorite, not my 50 favorite, but 50 of my favorite autograph cards, and of course we are inching our way to 100 subscribers, so when we do get there, use the Tony Stewart VIP Rookie Card, the Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Upper Deck, or the 2016 Braun Strowman Tops Heritage. Is it Heritage or Archives? Again, I get Heritage and Archives confused with Tops. I'll, I'll learn one of these days, but whoever wins the... Uh, We'll have a randomizer, we'll have something, we'll figure out, we'll get that figured out when we get there. But somebody will get to pick whichever card that they like the most, and, you know, that'll just be our little gift to you for helping us get to 100 subs. So I appreciate you uh, watching the video, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come back. The next video, we'll probably be doing that blaster of the 2019 Panini Prism. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.